Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using up some of these paper packs that I have from springtime and Easter. And I've got about a half a pack of the 6x6 Spring Fling. I've got a few pieces from the Happy Easter collection and several pieces from the Celebrate Spring. I'm going to be using envelopes and card bases for an envelope mini album. So for me I'm going to use um, six total of the envelopes and six total of the card bases. And um, Mine are 5 by 7 but you can use any size you like. So I'm going to just kind of get started showing you how to build the mini album. So I'm going to take my envelope here and like I said it's 5 by 7 and I'm going to cut off about an eighth of an inch off of the back side of your envelope. And I'm going to do that to all of them just making sure that each one of them I cut the same amount off of each one. That to the side and then I'm going to Kind of zoom in so you can see better. Hopefully it's not too close for you. Anyway, so you're going to take one of your envelopes and you're going to kind of stick it off to the side and then you're going to take the other two of your other envelopes and you're going to place them front to front. You're going to get some glue out or tape, whichever, whichever thing you would rather use. I'm using glue because it gives me a couple extra seconds to make sure everything is lined up before it adheres really well. And you're just going to glue your flaps together, only the flaps, not the, not the envelope base itself. I'm just going to kind of make sure everything's lined up and squish it down really good. And then you're going to take this flap and you're going to, this is where it's going to go. You're just going to slide it into your other envelope. So we're going to flip it over, put some glue. And then we're going to slide it in and squish it down, make sure it's in there really good. And then just turn over each one of your pages and kind of burnish them down to make sure that your creases are really good. And we're just going to keep doing this. And depending on how many pages you want your envelope mini to have, depends on how many envelopes you use. For me, like I said, I'm going to do six total. So I've got a front and a back and then the two in the center. Because also, my card bases are also going to be pages, which I'll show you how I attach those um, after we finish putting the book together. So I'm just basically repeating exactly what I did last time. Front to front, just the flaps, line them up good, and then we're going to slide it into that last envelope. The same way we did it the first time, just make sure everything's nice and lined up. Place that one. Again, we're going to put the glue on there. And we're going to slide that into the other envelope. Having the ends cut off is real convenient. Um, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I do it for a couple of reasons. One is because I like to add the, ca the card bases. It depends on what I'm trying to do with the card bases, but sometimes I'm adding them from that side. And you'll see um, as I'm putting it together, you can kind of see as I'm as I'm doing it that there's several different ways that you can decorate the inside of this album and add um, pages or not add any at all. If you didn't want anything other than the envelopes, you don't even need the card bases. You could just use the straight envelopes alone and you wouldn't need to cut the end off if you didn't want uh, that to be like a pocket. So at this point I could just attach that last flap right over the top and use it as the spine of my book or I thought I was going to do something else but then I didn't. So I cut it off but I didn't really need to. I'm basically going to do exactly what I could have done with that with another piece of, of craft paper but you you do you. Whatever makes you whatever makes you happy. If you have a piece of cardstock that's big enough, you could just wrap the whole entire thing in one piece of patterned paper. Um, but because I'm using five by seven, um, that would be 14 inches total. And I don't really, I don't think I have anything long enough to go all the way around. So um, I ended up doing each section. So here I'm showing you with the card bases. 
how I, one of the ways to put it together. So you can either slide the card bases in from the inside, like I just did, or you can slide them in from the outside, or you can cut them in half and use them to make pockets. So depending on what you want to do with your card bases, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that I used them. But first, let's um, start cutting our mats. So for me, because my envelopes are five by seven and my card stock is six by six, um, not my card stock, my pattern paper is six by six, I'm going to use my card stock in some coordinating colors to make mats behind some of these pages. And you want to make sure that you measure your um, envelopes because you know your envelopes are bigger than your card bases normally anyways but then you also cut off some of your envelope there so you just want to make sure you size it before you cut your pattern paper so you don't waste any of your paper. That right there is going to be my the spine of my book which like I said I could have just used the flap but I didn't so I'm just going to tape that in place and then I'm going to adhere the pink and white pattern paper to the front and the back of my book. I think the pink and white looks really cute with the craft, so um, that was a good, a good envelope color for me, but white would have been just as perfect, or even like those real pretty pastel um, envelopes would have been really nice as well. This is just what I had on hand, and I got my envelopes at Michael's. They were on clearance. I think they were like five dollars, but then they were clearance down to like two dollars or something like that. So I got them for really cheap, and I got I think there's twenty five or fifty envelopes, so I've got a lot. So here you can see I've started kind of decorating my first couple pages. So to show you um, what they're going to look like and how I'm going to decorate them is I'm gonna because my pa my envelopes are five by seven, I'm making mats. So my it's kind of like a double mat until I get down to the six by six paper size. So that's why I have so much mats behind it. The cardstock that I'm using, the colored cardstock, is the cheap stuff from Michaels. So it's real thin. I'm not using anything real thick to make this book um, bulkier than it already is. Um, this is the stuff that you get. It's like when they have it on sale, it's like three packs for twenty um, for ten dollars. So you get a lot, and I'm also using up all of my scraps. So you know how when you trim down your pattern paper to make mats for stuff to make your card bases or whatever, you have that extra strip of paper. Um, that's what these are. So I'm just using up the extra strips that are have sitting off to the side, and I'm going to attach them onto all of my pages, kind of like um. Like I do when I make my cards. You know how you, you kind of set up your cards. I'm kind of doing the same thing here. And now I'm just figuring out where to put my photo mat. And that punch off to the side is just a photo mat um, maker, basically. But you don't have to do that at all. As a matter of fact, I don't do it throughout the whole book. I've only did it on the first couple pages, and then I stopped using it because I wanted the cut apart sheets to kind of be where the pictures would go uh, just to decorate it and then you can pull off the cut aparts and put the photo there. So now I just kind of trimmed down one of the cut aparts to make a little decoration off to the side and I'm only adhering it where I just pressed down so that way you can stick the picture behind it. And I'm going to put together the other one and here's the first two pages. Now I'm going to pull out the book and show you how to attach the card base to the envelope to make an extra page. So here, um, if you don't want the pocket to still be a pocket, see where my hand is, then you would adhere that on both sides and that would close your pocket. I want them to be pockets, so I'm only going to adhere it on the one side and because I want the pocket on this one to be right where my hand is, I want that to be the opening, I'm going to adhere it on the front side. If I wanted the pocket to be right there um, on the inside, I would adhere it on the back, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. But now I'm just going to place my panels down on my pages. And there's your first two pages. Now for this side, I'm showing you that I took one of the card bases and I cut it in half. And then I'm taking another one of my card bases 
and on the next set of pages I'm going to make a gatefold page. So here I will be attaching this way. See what I mean by like having that edge cut gives you the opportunity to adhere your card bases in another direction. So this will make a gatefold page and so this time I want the pocket to be on the inside. So now I'm showing you the other way. So because I want the pocket to be on the inside, I'm going to attach my tape on the outside of the card base. I'm just going to pull off these edges here. And you put this in exactly the same way. And don't forget, once you, before you squish it down and, and adhere it really well, make sure that your card base is centered into the envelope because your card bases are slightly smaller than your envelopes. So you kind of want it to be in the center so that it looks good. And now your pocket is on the inside instead of the outside. And then this is going to be a pocket that I'm going to make on the like an external pocket. So I'm going to use one of the card bases and show you what you can do with that. So you can see here on the first page I've got it finished already and on the second page I'm going to show you how to make it. So before you attach your pocket down you want to put down your mats. So here's my double mat and then here's my half a card base. So these pockets aren't going to be very wide because you're using your card bases. Um, so you don't have that a whole lot of room to work with here, but I'm basically just going to score a quarter on quarter of an inch on either side and then one inch on the bottom and then I'm just going to trim that off. I'm going to trim a half an inch off the bottom just so that I don't have a lot of hangover. And then I'm just going to trim off each one of my corners and it's just to make it neat. And then I'm going to fold over all of my score lines. use my bone folder to make it nice and crisp. Burnish those edges. I'm going to put on my, here I'm showing you, if you don't want the pocket to be that deep because this is a pretty deep pocket, you just put a tape, a piece of tape right across the center where you want your pocket to end. Um, I want to leave them deep like this because uh, you can put photo mats in here as well. You can, you can make bigger ones so that you could add larger photos like say 4 by 6 size photos right into a photo mat and stick it right inside of that pocket. Now in order to make the little opening for the pocket top I'm just going to use circle punch and I'm going to punch through both my pattern paper and my craft and then just slide it down a little bit and that just gives it that edge where everything around it, you can see the craft cardstock behind it. Now we're just going to place that down on the card base. It's funny when I'm talking about a book that I'm saying card base, but it really is a card base. Just kind of line that up in the middle so that it's even with the other one. And so if you wanted to make a pretty large photo mat, you could, so you could put your 4x6 photos in the large photo mats, and that's also what the side pockets are for. So you can make photo mats out of those side pockets as well that hold the larger pictures. And then you can use the bigger cut aparts as your um, photo mats and just put them onto, um, you know, something that you can take out something with a tab on it that you can grab onto and pull out of those pockets right there. So now I'm showing you that you've still got all these card bases to decide what you want to do. So um, I'm going to make this gatefold in the middle and this is going to be my Easter layout. And I didn't go through the decorating of every single page because I, I think everybody should be able to do exactly what they want. So um, I will run through the entire book at the end, so if you want to do it exactly the same way that I did it, you can. But, um, you know, you may not even have the same supplies as I do. This is just a basically just to kind of use up our scraps and um, just make a cute little album for all of our Easter pictures and spring fun spring pictures and garden pictures or whatever else you have. So here I'm going to decorate the front. 
and at first I thought I was going to use a belly band, but I ended up using a brad with a, a bead behind the brad and a piece of leather is what I ended up using to close the book, which looks adorable. The belly band, I did make it, put it on, hated it, and so I went in a totally different direction. So that's what that is up at the top is the little belly band that I was going to use. And I, it did have a magnet closure, but I ended up scrapping that. So now I'm just kind of decorating the front with some of my stickers. By the time I was done with this book, I got rid of, I would say, probably about 90% of the leftovers that I had. So this was great. And there it is. You can see there I have the brad, and it's got a little bead right behind it just to give it a little bit of room. I took the a little piece of extra leather that I had, and I just poked a hole in the spine, put a knot on the other side, so that way it holds it, to, just to hold it together. It doesn't have to be super strong, but there's uh, one of those pullouts with the photo mats. Here's where the pockets are that we made. Here is the gate fold with the inside pockets. So if you've got extra pictures or extra things that you want to stick in those pockets, um, they won't fall out. Here's my pink pages. and This is just how I decorated the whole rest of the book. So some of these, um, if you notice, are actually the cards. See how this is a little bit smaller than this one? You can tell which ones are the cards where I just stuck them in and used them. And then you've got all your pockets with your pullouts and your closure. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope this was a good tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow. It's one of my older ones that I did years and years and years ago. If you go back in my history, as a matter of fact, I might even link it below so you can see. Um, yeah how much different it is from when I, when I first made it. And um, again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I will see you again real, real soon. Bye-bye.